Well, now the latest on orca whales attacking boats, sinking three ships this year. New research into their behavior is now shedding light on why it might be happening. ABC's Matt Gutman has more. We lost both rudders. Something's happening off the coast of Spain and Portugal. Killer whales attacking sailing vessels. Three boats have been sunk, dozens damaged over the past couple of years. These encounters spawning a blitz of internet memes poking fun at the idea of orcas coming together to attack humans, calling them the Robin Hoods of the sea. In 2021, Martin Evans saw it firsthand. Yeah, this is intense. The orcas are just continually bashing up against the hull. The wheel is being moved violently from side to side. They chewed off the rudder and hobbled the boat. Killer whales can be as big as a bus and nearly as fast as a greyhound, arguably the most fearsome predator on the planet. Scientists still trying to understand why they're doing it. Some have argued they're expressing anger or revenge. But Dr. Monica Whalen says that's not the case. She took us to the Salish Sea, home to hundreds of orcas. Oh, there are three of them, right? There are three of the other, oh, they're right under <laughs> oh. oh my God, they're right here. Oh my God. Holy crap. They're... Oh, that's pretty amazing. They're right here. That's the baby right there. Monica believes that for the whales off the coast of Gibraltar, those sailboat rudders seem like a toy. I think there's something specifically intriguing to them about these rudders on this certain style of boat. Where, um, that seems to be the game, is focusing on this you know particular type of vessel. You see, whales have culture. And she says these attacks are a fad and hardly their first fad. Wasn't it a thing for a while, I think in 1987, when orcas were wearing dead salmon on their heads? The dead salmon hats. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, this was a thing. It was a thing. And it was really one of the first examples of this type of behavior where one orca here in Washington state killed a fish, didn't eat it, surfaced with it draped over their head and would carry it around for a while. And this became the cool thing to do for that entire summer. Monica believes that the fad will fade. This is something new where we haven't seen them interact with vessels in any way like this before. We have no idea how long it's going to last, if it's going to escalate, if it's just going to suddenly disappear as quickly as it appeared. Hmm, pretty interesting. Well, experts want to remind us there's not a single documented case of orcas in the wild killing humans.